Okay, good day, guys. This is Jim Pytel from Columbia Gorge Community College Renewable Energy Technology Program. This is ET 121 Digital One. Today, as promised, we're going to discuss uh, floating point numbers. Um, okay, so there's a problem with large numbers and numbers with large fractional parts. They need a lot of bit space to be represented. And floating point numbers solve this problem, specifically the single precision format, which we're going to discuss today, the most common format, um, by breaking this number into three pieces. Uh, first piece is our sign bit. The second uh, portion is our normalized mantissa. And the third portion is our bias exponent. I don't know why that has a nice number number three on it. Okay, so we're going to go back into what these guys are. All right, sign bit, plus or minus, real easy. Uh, normalized mantissa. Mantissa um, normally represents the magnitude of a number. If you're familiar with scientific notation, that's exactly what a mantissa is. Uh, the thing in front of it, that's the magnitude. Um, normalized means the decimal place is shifted. So in our example right here, this decimal place, so it's 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 1, dot, 1, 0. That's our number. A normalized mantissa means that the decimal place is shifted dink, right there. So basically, it's this last place, which is always a 1, you know, because if there was zeros there, you can ignore those things. So a normalized mantissa means you're moving the, uh, the decimal place over to this portion right here. But now we've got to talk about this biased exponent. The biased exponent is how many places it's moved over, how many powers of 2. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. In this example, our normal exponent is seven. Our normal, our, excuse me, our mantissa in this case was one point, excuse me, one point one zero one 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 zero one one zero, right? So that's our mantissa, but a normalized mantissa means you get rid of this guy right there. Okay, so you get rid of that first one. So it's just point zero, excuse me, point one zero one 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 zero one one. And you can ignore this guy right now, and I'll show you why. Um, okay, so that's a normalized mantissa. It's basically the magnitude of everything, and you just remove this first one. Okay, our exponent was seven, but a biased exponent, um, well, let's talk about exponent again, just to remember. It's the number of places, number of powers of two you shift it over. Um, biased means you add 127 to the actual exponent. So in this case, the biased exponent is 134. Why is it a biased exponent? Basically, it allows very large and very small exponents without needing a sign bit for the exponent. Okay? So, I mean, just pretend you had a negative 4 as your as your actual exponent. So 127 plus negative 4 is equal to 123. See? Look, mom, no sign bit. So basically, you don't have to worry about that. Even you can represent a negative, excuse me, a negative number with uh, with a biased exponent. So um, let's go back. Okay, so we've got our single precision format. So again, there's our sign bit, which is one bit. And then you've got your exponent, or excuse me, our biased exponent, B exponent. You got eight bits. Then you get your fractional portion, which is the normalized mantissa, and that can take up to 23 bits. So that's 32 bits. Okay. So what is this number? Let's assume this this is our, was our example up here. Assume it was positive. So our sine bit was zero. Our exponent was, excuse me, our exponent was 7. Our biased exponent is 134. So let's represent that in an 8-bit uh, notation. So it's 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0. That's 134 in 8-bit notation. Now our fractional portion, remember, is our normalized mantissa, which is this portion of the number here. We got rid of that first one. So it's 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. And then what you can do, just keep on adding zeros 
So you got 23 bits. Okay, so that's single precision format. That's what I'm kind of hoping you guys walk away with, is that a large number can be broken up into three parts, the sine bit, the biased exponent, and the fraction. And it just allows you to express large numbers and numbers with like la um, me, large fractional portions. I uh, want to continue this discussion a little bit more. And it's just how to, once you get a floating point number, how to turn it back to the decimal. Easiest way to do this is use this formula. Negative 1 to the power of the sine bit, 1 plus the fractional portion, and then multiply it 2 to the exponent. But remember, it's biased, so you got to get rid of that 127. Okay? So let's go ahead and do an example right here. And there's our example. We've got it parsed out into our 1, 8, and 23. And you can imagine just there's 0, 0, 0 all the way through. So negative 1, in this case, to the sine bit is 1. 1 plus the fractional portion, which is this guy. 1, we remember, it's point zero, one, zero, one, zero. times 2. And our biased exponent right there is 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1. And if you go ahead and do the binary to decimal conversion, you'll find that out that it's 131. You've got to get rid of the biasing, minus 127. So what are you going to get here? It's going to be negative 1.1010. Zeros, 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 and that's going to be 2 to the 4 in this case. So it looks like we have to move our decimal place 1, 2, 3, 4. So there it is. It's 1, 1, 0, 1, 0, point 1. Now, that is easy to turn back into a decimal number. Because remember, that's 2 to the negative 1. There's no 2 to the zeros. There's 1, 2 to the 1. No 2 to the 2s. 1, 2 to the 3. 1, 2 to the 4. So that's 0. 0.5, a 2, an 8, and a 16. And just add those guys up. 26.5. And remember, negative 26.5 so that's how you rep you know this isn't i know i know it's not a large number here that i represented but that's just a super quick example how to do it what do you need to know you need to know that single precision format is 32 bits and it is represented in three parts namely the sine bit normalized mantissa and the biased exponent book goes into tremendous detail about this and if you want to lear learn more recommend do that there's also double precision format and a bunch of other different formats but single precision is the most common okay we're going to move on to some operations uh, using signed numbers and we're going to specifically discuss adders and how they can be used to subtract multiply and divide